why capsule wardrobes don't work. Yes, in today's video, we are going to be answering that question, but as well as that, we will be resolving that question. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. All right, hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. Whether you are new here or have been around for a while, I'm very happy that you're here with me today. I'm excited for today's episode because I think a lot of people ask this question because I think capsule wardrobes are a fantastic thing. I love capsule wardrobes for so many different reasons, um, ultimately just for the efficiency, for the simplicity. Capsule wardrobes are a lot of work. They take a lot of effort and a lot of intention to create and to maintain. So I get it, but I think in the end, um, it really just boils down to certain little details. So I think if certain little details aren't addressed as you're creating a capsule wardrobe or as you're maintaining it, then yeah, it's not gonna work for you and it's then not going to reap those benefits that a capsule wardrobe provides. So that is why I'm making today's episode because I really want to make sure that if you are somebody that is putting that time and that effort into your capsule wardrobe so that you don't create a wardrobe and then all of a sudden at the end of the day it doesn't produce any real results for you and so if that sounds good to you make sure to keep watching okay number one is not choosing a range of functions no matter what sort of capsule wardrobe you're creating, whether it's, you know, an all year round, a seasonal one, a module one that focuses on a very specific theme, maybe it's a lifestyle, you need to make sure that you are including a range of functions within each category. An example of this is that if you're choosing to have four layering pieces within your capsule wardrobe, then each of those pieces should have a different function. One, a cardigan. This can be buttoned up, buttoned down, left open to see the underneath layer. One pullover sweater, easy to just pop on and be cozy and chic all at once. One sweatshirt, easy to just throw on and be casual. And maybe one duster to add a bit of drama and to elongate as well as frame your looks. So there we go, four different layering pieces with four different functions. Now, if we chose to have four different cardigans, you're ultimately got one item right there because yes maybe the styles will provide some little bit of a uh, different functionality but ultimately at the end of the day a cardigan is a cardigan and is serving the same function as another cardigan it doesn't allow for that diversity within your outfits number two is not paying attention to your color palette now it's easy for me to say because this girl's color palette primarily is black white and gray with some denim in there, some blue in there, some brown in there, uh, maybe a little bit of army green. But for the most part, it's pretty neutral. It's a pretty neutral palette. So yeah, girls, girls got it easy. But even still with that, I do still have to be mindful of that. So I think if you are somebody that does light color, that's fine. You can have a capsule wardrobe and light color. You just might have to be a little bit more mindful of that color palette. So solutions with that is when you're creating a capsule wardrobe is to maybe create a sort of mood board. And you can do that on anything. There's all sorts of different things out there now, different apps for creating mood boards. You could easily, you could just do it on Pinterest for it. If you wanna just go, you know, old school, then I would say just get some color swatches, just get some fabric swatches, just kind of staple them together or, you know, loop them together and you can throw it in your purse so that when you're out shopping, you can have it there on hand. The idea is then having that, you can always kind of refer back to that. So whenever you find a new piece or are thinking about bringing a new piece into your wardrobe, you can refer back to that sort of mood board to make sure that it's gonna be consistent, it's going to circle back to all the colors within your wardrobe. And that will just make it a lot more effortless and a lot more just straightforward. Okay, number three is not choosing a range of fits. So very similar to the range of functions, you wanna have a range of fits in your capsule wardrobe. So just meaning for each category, so bottoms, tops, layering pieces, outerwear, that sort of thing. You wanna have a range of fits so that you're not basically creating the same silhouette 
over and over again. Now, for some people, they might want that, but I think for the most part, I think a lot of people are worried that they're gonna get bored or that a capsule wardrobe is boring. Um, or they're gonna get bored of it over time. And yeah, if you're creating the same exact silhouette over and over again, for sure you're gonna get bored. So as an example, let's talk about jeans. This gal loves her jeans. Let's look at if we were bringing in three pairs of jeans into our capsule wardrobe. Let's say you love skinnies and you just, you wanna bring all three, you want all three of those jeans to be skinnies. Well, that's fine. But then you're ultimately just having that same silhouette throughout. You don't have any sort of diversity in there. And then if you then combined that with, let's say it's for your tops and you had three t-shirts that were all the same fit. Well, basically all you're really getting out of that is one outfit silhouette. So you have six pieces and only one outfit silhouette. So now let's say you chose a wide leg jean, a boyfriend jean, and a skinny jean. As well as that, you chose a fitted short sleeve t-shirt, a oversized long sleeve t-shirt, and a unisex crew neck t-shirt. Within that, you have six pieces, but this time you have nine different outfit silhouettes out of those six pieces. So you can see how that is going to affect the efficiency of your capsule wardrobe. So if you're not including a range of different fits, you're definitely not gonna get that diversity of the outfit silhouettes. Number four is including pieces that you do not love. So when you allow a piece to come into your wardrobe that you don't absolutely love, you're basically, in so many words, throwing a wrench into the wheel. It's going to create hesitation. And when you have hesitation, you then have decision fatigue. And when you have decision fatigue, you just are not as efficient, which is ultimately what we are trying to avoid with a capsule wardrobe. So the idea is you don't wanna have that noise. You don't wanna have that distracting with distraction within your wardrobe. This one's easy. Ask yourself, do I absolutely love this item? If the answer is no, then bye. Number five is thinking about a piece individually. If you look at a piece just individually, you lose sight of the greater picture when it comes to your capsule wardrobe. So as an example, uh, you may have heard me speak about the parrot blouse, the parrot printed blouse that I had in my wardrobe for so long. Now, when I came across that parrot printed blouse, whoa, say that 10 times fast, parrot, parrot printed blouse. When I came across this, this top, I was totally drawn to it because it was just, it was a really great fit and it had this really cool parrot novelty print. So had I actually taken the time to look at the bigger picture, to uh, compare this piece against the rest of my wardrobe, I would have saw that it just didn't make sense. It did not make sense with the rest of my wardrobe, um, that it wasn't gonna be this easy effortless piece that would just work with a bunch of different things in my wardrobe. So in the end, it sat in my closet with the tag still on for years and years before I finally gave it away. So the lesson for me with this was that anytime I am bringing in a new piece, I wanna make sure it is circling back to everything else in my wardrobe that it is actually going to add value to my wardrobe and bring in another piece that is going to inspire the wardrobe, is going to add diversity to the wardrobe. Again, a solution to this is maybe keeping pictures of your core pieces within your phone. Maybe it's creating like a mood board that you keep on your phone. Otherwise, you know, maybe you're like me who just basically has it all in her head. I'm a very visual person. I can literally sift through my closet within my head. Or maybe it's using one of these special apps um, that help you you know, organize and keep track of your wardrobe and also put together outfits, which brings us to what we'll be speaking to in our next week's episode, where I'll be sharing a special little app that I like to use. All right, you guys. So hopefully that answered your question, why capsule wardrobes don't work. And hopefully it resolved that question for you as well. Uh, definitely comment below if you have any further questions in regards to a capsule wardrobe. Uh, but if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to give me that thumbs up comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes, and click that cute little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes twice a week so you never miss out on this face. All right, my friends, you have a beautiful, lovely rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.